Well, you've heard of strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, but how about elderberries? In fact, elderberries could have some components in your life that could help you not only down the road, but also in the days to come. Dr. Trudy Pieper, naturalist from Johnstown, Ohio at Phoenix Wellness, joins us again on Faith and Friends. Hello, Trudy. How are you this morning? <laughs> How am I? Yes. I'm, um, you know, I, honestly, I just got back from some trips where I flew in airplanes and I needed this information from Trudy back then because what did I get? I got a cold, I got a sickness. I needed elderberries. Along yes, you ago. did. This, it's really exciting. A new study just came out, Jennifer, that's, you know, most people have colds. Most people have two to three colds a year. And um, so you get that from being in a close environment with other people, but particularly travel is very, very hard, and most people end up with a cold. So they did a randomized, randomized double-blind study with placebo group uh, with two, 312 passengers, economy passengers, on an international flight to see if elderberry would make any difference. The great news was using elderberry made a huge difference in their health, and those people who took the elderberry had uh, fewer colds, fewer days if they did have a cold, and fewer symptoms. So how do we find elderberry? Capsule form, liquid form, what is it? Uh, elderberry is also called Sambucus. A lot of people find that's the Latin name for it. And it, it, for kids, it, you usually find it's a syrup. It's because it's, mm -hmm. it's very sweet. As you can remember, you talked about strawberries and blueberries. Elderberry has a very sweet flavor. So you can get it in that form. It also comes in capsules. Um, you can get the berries themselves and make tea, if you want to be really creative about that and drink that. Um, it, the, the important thing about elderberry is that you want to do it in advance of your travel. So if you were traveling and you just started to say, oh, I'm going to take elderberry today, as this trial did, they only did it for four days, the day of the travel and four days afterwards, and they still had significant results. But I like to tell my patients, you, two weeks prior to travel, make sure you get out your elderberry, take a dosage of that, uh, usually per bottle or whatever the uh, manufacturer recommendations are, but combine that with some probiotics because we okay. know that probiotics will also help you uh, ward off any illness. It seems like such a simple thing, but yet somehow doing some of these simple health things could be very difficult to get into our lives. So just, would you suggest go to the store, go to a health food store? What's, what's the best way to make sure we have the right product for us? You know, health food stores, um, particularly in this area, you have some really good choices of, of places to go. I think that, that the people who work at health food stores have a wonderful knowledge of that. But if you want to go online and buy elderberry, that's very easy to do also. And you would want to get something that's at least 400 mill. the study used 400 milligrams a day. Okay. So look for something that has 400 milligrams a day. And with elderberry, as opposed to taking some over-the-counter products, there are no side effects. Mm. So you don't have to worry about headaches or anything that will, a lot of times will come along, dryness of mouth. Um, not being able to sleep at night. Sometimes it causes irritation when you buy over-the-counter drugs. You don't have those with the elderberry. That's good news, definitely. Is there any reason for this to become a regular part of somebody's supplemental diet, or is this really something to hit hard when you know we're getting into this immunity compromise situation? I think you need to be aware that if you're going to be in a situation that you need to be prepare yourself, you need to be very intentional about making sure that your health is the best it could possibly be. Elderberry, echinacea, uh, golden seal are all three immune building herbs, but you sh I find that you, you can use them on a regular basis, but they lose their potency. Mm. So it's best to use them for no longer than six weeks at a time and then switch off to another, uh, another herb if you want to continue to build your immune system. All right, very good information. Elderberry as a key traveler friend, your traveler's best friend, Dr. Trudy likes to say, two weeks before your travel plans is when you want to start out with that elderberry um, into your, your system and not more than six weeks. You want to switch off to something else. Of course, if you're thinking, what did she just say? What was that? You can go back and watch this interview again on faithandfriends.wtlw.com and you can write down all of this key information. Dr. Trudy Pieper from Johnstown, Ohio, Phoenix Wellness Center. We're so appreciative for all of your information. And um, if people want information about what you do, they can go to your website, phoenixwellnessforyou.com. Yeah. The number four, the letter U.com. And we want everyone to have a joyous expectation of what God's going to do through them and keeping your health 
is one of the most important things you can do. That's right, and we're about wrapping up, but you just mentioned something I think is so important, what God wants with our health, and that is the key, isn't it? God it, wants us to be healthy. He wants us to, to thrive. You know, we're in, to be tired of being tired all the time is not the way he, his expectation for us. And just by making intentional choices, we can honor God with our body and do the things that's gonna help us be able to do his work in our lives. Absolutely, excellent information. Thank you, Dr. Trudy. My pleasure.